Hey y'all, welcome back to Maya Makes It. Now, today I'm excited to share that I went to H Mart for the very first time. And if you haven't been to H Mart, it is an Asian grocery store that has like everything you could probably ever need. Um, and so here's some footage of me walking through the store. It was pretty cool. Um, it's massive. I feel like there was so much to go through, um, but I got some really cool stuff. So I thought I would share some of the things with y'all and taste some things on camera and let you know how it turned out. So here's some of the stuff that I got. Um, I didn't really have like a plan or like a purpose when we went to the store. There were a few things I knew I wanted, um, but for the most part, we were just kind of walking around and picking up things that looked cool um, and stuff I wanted to try or had seen before. So you can see like we got some bean sprouts and like tofu, some random things like that, but also some fun snacks like the choco pie and some ramen, of course, because you got to get that. Um, and so the first thing I tried was one of the drinks. They're like Ramun, I think that's how you say it. And it's really cool. So you can see how it like the ball drops and it fizzes up. So that's a fun drink. Um, and then I also wanted to try some of this spicy ramen. I had been seeing a lot of people do like the spicy noodle challenge. Um, and so I figured I'd pick some up and give it a taste. Um, and so you can see I'm kind of going through like the packaging and reading the instructions and let me tell y'all this was super spicy um, I was not expecting it to be that spicy. I really like spicy. So I thought like oh, it'll be fine But it was it was very spicy, um, but in a good way So I took my time going through it um, And then I followed like the package instructions So I decided that while the water was like heating up in the microwave, I could taste the dragon fruit. And so this was another thing that I just happened to see when we were walking through the store. And I was like, oh, I've seen so many people taste that. Like, I got to try it. So we grabbed a dragon fruit. Um, as you can see, it's pretty funky looking on the outside, but it's super cool. And it's like a bright kind of pinkish, orangish color, I guess. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but... Um, it was pretty easy to cut into so like I sliced it and you can see the inside is super cool um, They kind of are like I don't know like chia seed looking things inside, you know, or like poppy seeds um, It didn't really smell like much. I was kind of expecting it um, to smell like fruitier and I don't know like if ours wasn't very ripe like maybe it, it would be sweeter if it was riper, but um, it didn't really taste like a whole lot either so um but it wasn't bad and the texture was kind of soft a little chewy but it was pretty good so that would definitely be something that i would like to try again okay so once the water had started to boil I pulled it out of the microwave and was able to pour it into the noodles and the only thing was I was surprised they have to sit for like four minutes I think and so then I just kind of sat there sadly patiently waiting for the four minutes um I could have tried something else but I was just ready to eat noodles at this point so that's all I could focus on so I just kind of had to sit there and wait and wait and wait some more All right, and so finally I could add the sauce into the noodles. So there were two packets that came in the container. Um, and so one was like the sauce kind of packet and then the other one was like a powder. So I guess that's more like the seasoning and it had like some of the vegetables in it. And so you can see the first one um, that I opened was like the sauce one. And so it was really thick and it's super red. And I could tell, like, I was like, okay, this is definitely where the spice is coming from because it came out and it was like a super bright red color. And I poured all of that in. <laughs> you can see it by my face. I was already getting nervous. Um, but at this point, it still didn't smell super spicy. So I was still feeling like, okay, it'll be fine. Like, it shouldn't be that spicy. Um, and for the second packet, 
it wasn't spicy like I don't think at all um, so it's just like the seasoning so you can see that's the second one um, and I actually didn't use all of it I feel like this is just a lot of sodium I could just feel it already and so I probably used like half of the packet or so Now, after I had stirred it really well, you could definitely start to see that the color has changed and it was smelling like spicier now. So like once it got mixed really well, I could tell like I was like, okay, it's probably about to be spicy. <laughs> and so it was all mixed up and I could finally give it a taste. So the moment we have all been waiting for, um, you can see how the noodles look. So they're fully cooked and they are ready to eat. Now, like I said before, these are spicy. So you can tell by my face that almost immediately that spice hits you. And I was like, wow, okay, uh, these are no joke, but they were good. So I did enjoy them. You just kind of got to go slow and maybe have some water on hand or like some bread or something um, because that spice, it hits you pretty quick. Now, because I'm extra, as y'all already know, I did add in some like chopped green onions that I had on hand. And I also grabbed some like pre-cooked chicken, you know, you can buy like rotisserie chicken from the store. And I just chopped some of that up and added it in too, since it was a chicken flavored um, ramen. And so I mixed it all up and continued to enjoy my noodles. Now, y'all are gonna have to ignore this spot that appeared on my shirt. Um, because eating ramen noodles is messy so that did happen um, as I was going along but no worries right I think it was worth it and so I did have to just kind of set that to the side for a little bit and take a break um, and start in on the sweet so I grabbed the choco pie Now, I don't know about y'all, but I had seen this um, like sweet treat before and so I was excited to give it a taste. And so it looks pretty much um, like how the package, the picture on the outside. So it's like completely covered in chocolate and it's like marshmallow in the side and maybe like a cookie um, in there with it. And it wasn't super sweet. So that was nice, um, but it did have like just enough sweetness. And so I really liked it. Literally, we got the six pack and we regretted it. We definitely should have got like the 12 pack that we saw in the store um, because I feel like they were gone within a few days. So they were really good. Definitely would be getting those again. All right, so y'all let me know down below if you'd like to see me do some more like shopping hauls. I could take y'all shopping with me or do some vlogs. Um, but that is it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching.